Infinity to Gypsy Company? The air corridor to the gravity well is blocked by a network of particle cannons. Infinity shields are still down. Open the lane for us to move up and provide air support. Captain, what's Force Recon's assessment of the terrain? I know you've been off the field for a while, Master Chief, but this is a blow-through op. Sending in a recon would just slow us down. Telemetry indicates the particle cannons are being controlled from a command post southwest of our position. Roll on that target and neutralize those guns. We'll meet on the other side and take the gravity well. Infinity out. I don't know about you, but I usually like a little more intel with my intel. We'll make it work. Chief, Spartan Sarah Palmer in Infinity CIC. Commander Lasky's waiting for you on the Mammoth. On our way. Here we go. Well, someone's overcompensating. I do have to pre I do have to appreciate the FOV though. Well, you can change the FOV for every game. I don't think for all the games, can you? Yes. For all the games. I did that. I changed it all to 120. Hi, Lexki. Chief. Hmm. Maybe. For us, we've got a maybe. 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 Yeah. Chief, call so, again. The mammoth's got jetpacks on board. If I were down there, I'd want one. Jetpack? Yeah, grab a jetpack or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. God is dead. Oh, they don't look that. They don't even feel as good as they did in the other game. Nope. How is that possible? Well, it does kind of make sense why a jetpack wouldn't work as well for Chief because Chief is uh, a lot larger yeah, than but I Noble feel like is. Sometimes we need to throw out the uh, the technically, you know, just to make a fun game, right? Oh yeah, 100%. What, what's really funny is that they threw out all the technicallys to make a shitty game. Yeah, well... They, I'm sure they had plans somewhere along the way. They, they messed it up. Well, maybe, maybe they didn't have a plan. Maybe they just had a bad plan. I don't know. And Like imagine a Halo boss fight where we hop in a mech suit like a Power Ranger and we fight another Power Ranger sized monster. Like a Megazord? Yeah man. Could be interesting. I don't know. You can hear the passion leaving my voice. I guess I do have some like Big enemies like those uh, the scarab the things. Oh, the scarab yes. All right, Chief. Uh, that was just about range. The scarabs. Okay, I, I did like the, the scarabs a lot. The target designator. I'll get to them and receive the designator. I'm gonna go get the target marker. I'm almost there. The sooner we get that, the sooner we can fucking finish this game. 
No, I'm not aiming at the those fucking phantoms. I'm getting out of here. I'm done. I don't care. No, he's leaving. Hold on. Wait, oh, he's gonna open the back and you can uh, drive it Gypsy back company. in. This stream's bad news. We can with the mammoth. Cross through the center to the other side. Wait, hang on. I'm gonna try and hop back in. Alright, yeah, you just go on ahead. I'll stay on the mammoth. Okay. And you just got run over by the tires. No, I yeah. think that the, I, I drove into like three foot sort of deep water. Below. Did it not drive in the water? Suppose it does it, does it? No. Well, that's good to know. I don't know where the rest of those Spartans are. Oh, here's one. Ow. 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 What the fuck was- Oh my god, this- This game is really glitchy. And this is- Like, specifically this- This little segment. Sucks. Banshees. Trooper? Take that sniper. Rockets. There we go. Force field. Barricading the far side of this canyon. I'm seeing three power sources. Shut them down so the mammoth can move through. Yeah, this game really relies on the rule of three. And it relies on it way too fucking much too. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, I just don't like this game very much. Yeah, man. I feel you, I feel you. I told you Reach would be the pinnacle. I was, I really I was do like, hate man, you know, like... It seems like everything was just constantly improving, you know, every single game I was like, you know... I was like, maybe yep. this is like the story, but no, it's, it's, it's more than just no. the story, nope. it's a little bit of everything. it's bad. It's bad. It's just genuinely awful. There's just a lot of fuck around, you know? Like, there's just a lot of, like, just wasting fucking time. Yeah, I have to say, this, this objective is very, very much... feels like a waste of time. Oh no! It's, it's, it's more than feels like a waste of fucking time. It is a waste of fucking time. This is kind of like that elevator thing that I was, uh... Telling you about before we sit on the elevator forever. Kind of like that. Yep. Except you can't just sit and you actually have to move. Yep. But it adds so little, it's just a plain map. It's random objective. Mm hmm. For no reason. Yep. Yep. You're right. You're 100% right. It adds nothing. This game is a constant, uh, uh, fucking, uh, uh, expert 
uh, adding nothing. The one important thing that happens in this game isn't even fucking all that important, to be quite honest. Like, realistically speaking, like, obviously they had to do something in regards to the plot, like, the, the, the cliffhanger of Halo 3. Yeah, Obviously. of course. They had to do something. Of course, they had to. They had to do something. But yeah, like that's that's the one thing that this accomplishes is, well, how did Master Chief get back to Earth? That's all we learned from this. Oh my God! I can literally see the damn thing. Let me use the target designator, please. Come on. Let me use it, man. Why the fuck are you like this? Why are you being so slow? Why? I don't get it. Come on, man. This game just breaks me every time. Chief, get us a firing solution on that particle cannon before the Covenant get their act together. Yeah, you have to wait for that Target one fire. specific thing instead of being able to take it out Shot's good. from fucking before. Oh no! It shot a big green snot laser. Oh no! Oh no! What happened? It shot a big green snot laser and killed everything. Mammoth won't last long out in the open like that. We'll have to find a way to keep the Covenant off them. Okay, come on. There you go. There used to be some, like... At least the sound design was improved. Uh, like with, um, aim ahead, please. Oh, I thought Forward. I saw something right there. I didn't look well, at the GPS. We're getting shot at by two fucking ghosts. I think that one right there I was looking at. Was kind of Hang yeah. on, I'm gonna go up and do this. You just shoot people. Or something, I don't know. Lift into the belly of that ship. Time it right, and we should be able to ride it inside. I don't know why they keep the grav lift on the whole time when I killed all the enemies they were deploying. Goodbye. And just hit this a couple times. That did it. Okay, Time goodbye. Alright. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, I killed everyone. Alright, hang on. Oh man. Let's get back in the mammoth. I'm ready to be done with this game, so... Uh-huh. Well, we're more than halfway done, and it hasn't been two hours, so I guess we're doing okay. Yeah, man. Let's keep pace. Let's keep pace. Is Let's how do you feel about Halo 5? On the Is it an improvement from this game at least? Uh not in the story regard, but the gameplay is decent, I guess. Does the story have some recurring uh characters that we don't like? Thanks, Chief. It was getting a bit dicey there for a minute. A couple. What is the new faction? 
I forgot. It's good. Uh, what is this new like? Prometheans. They're Prometheans. Okay. So they're basically forerunners created by the Didact. Um, they're robots, but they're actually not robots. They're humans. There's a weapon that he gets at the end of the game that he uses to turn people into knights. Fucking I don't know. Put some pressure on those other particle cannons. Uh, and they're not going to be able to, uh, they're not going to be able to cross this. Oh wait, no they are. Oh wait, they are. Yep. Oops, I lied. You fell in the water, didn't you? I don't know how. I, I jetpacked over. Oh, I forgot I had a jetpack. Mm-hmm. How do you forget you have a jetpack? I haven't been using it very often, to be honest. They don't Why would you do that? You. They replaced you. Blast it. It's okay. How? How is this okay? How is putting you at risk because I can't hold it together okay? Chief, do you even understand what Rampancy is? Really? We don't just shut down. Our cognitive processes begin dividing exponentially according to our total knowledge base. We literally think ourselves to death. You know I won't let that mm -hmm. happen. And if it happens anyway... Yeah, this mission is going to explain the plot, like the rest of the plot. There's going to be like a cutscene here in a little bit that just kind of explains the entire plot all at once. And it kind of sucks, to be honest. <sighs> We've been getting very little uh, actual exposition towards the plot, but we only get the one little bit. This is about it for the mammoth. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna the put this game on my rating scale, you know? Bad. Sir, I can move <laughs> Low. I know. But is it... Infinity, worse than Comet Evolved? Yes. I feel like... The... What's it called? Comet Evolved? But the first two games, right? Their story... Was... Really where they excelled at the, uh... The gameplay obviously was a little bit more rough around the edges, just because of the time. No, the gameplay is way better. Well, the gameplay is, yeah, the, the gameplay is still really good, but I still feel like, uh... No, the gameplay is much better in those games than it is in this one. Somehow. You think so? Yes. I don't know, I feel like even though this game is much worse than some of the previous entries, I don't think it's better than that. That might be a bit of a stretch. Yes. The new enemy types fucking ruin it. Uh, yeah, the gameplay is definitely worse than Reach. Yeah, it might be worse than 3. I can't remember 3 super duper well, but I definitely know that it's better than 1 and 2. Um, just by, just by a loss of quality of life and stuff, right? But the story is where this one falls on its face, whereas... See no, I mean? 2 had very good, 2 had very good gameplay. 2 had... You're right, I think that I'm just a little bit salty about the gameplay in the first game still. With no, because the gameplay in the first game is still pretty solid. Yeah, but they had like, like so many annoying things in the first game, like instant kills and all that. I don't know, I just replayed it yesterday, and with only the worst gun in the game, and I'd still rather do that again than play this game. Yeah. I, I, I'd rather do that again than play this game with none of the difficulty skulls. Well, it's definitely gonna go just down to all. wherever I rated the other games. But I don't know what 
my rating was for those. Uh, I think you gave Halo 1 a 3. Cortana to infinity. Somewhere down there. Entering the forerunner structure. This is definitely the main three. Oh. Breaking up, but coordinates are I'd say. I'm, I think that I'm just gonna tie it with Halo 1, to be honest. Mmm, you still got three more missions to go through. I know, that's how I'm feeling right now, but. It's, it's hard to say this is a better game than that. But, uh... There's a lot more to hate. Yeah, I guess, I guess I... Directly yeah. to the coordinates Infinity provided. I haven't found all the stuff to hate, like right? The Sentinels wanted us to get the particle cannons offline. This could be a trap. You say that like there's a second possibility? Well, we just hit the two hour mark and we're about halfway through this mission. Maybe more. Yeah, maybe we're a little bit more than halfway done. My throat's getting a little sore. Yeah, mine too. I think my life is just more dry and sore though, but I need some water. We've I could use a, uh, this looks like yeah. Something to that effect, yeah. I'm a little bit thirsty and a little bit... Uh, I could use a, a cough drop, maybe, after mm. some nice cold water. I'm a little tired. I got kind of an early start today, and... The particle <sighs> network must use these arrays for targeting and guiding... I'm ready to go to sleep as soon as we're done with this. It's an so. System, so it won't technically allow me to redirect the cannons to fire on one another. Cortana? Uh-oh. Cortana. Cortana. Find... Kotaku. I guess we'll find her uh -oh. Kotaku. Uh-oh. I fell to my death. Don't... <laughs> turn that corner too fast. Yeah, I know this game is very, very, uh, easy to die in. They don't have a lot of invisible walls where it feels like there should be. And I'm not one to usually complain about invisible walls, but I feel like, you know, it might be a little helpful. There are there for a reason sometimes. Yeah, whenever you have as many ledges as this, you know, a few invisible walls that would hurt, you know? Yeah. Alright, here comes the cutscene that's going to explain the plot. Who are you? I am what remains of the Forerunner, once known as the Librarian. My memories were retained to assist humanity on their path to the Mantle. Though sadly, that plan is now at risk. The Didact is leaving Requiem. Soon. You must not allow it. Leaving? He seeks this. The Composer. A device which will allow him to finally contain... ...the greatest enemy ever faced by the Forerunners. You. Mankind spread into the stars with an unexpected, desperate violence. Entire systems fell before the Didax warrior servants rose to halt the aggression. When the Didact finally exhausted the humans after a millennia, 
His sentence was severe. We had no way of knowing that the Forerunners were not your only enemy. Humanity hadn't been expanding. They were running. Weakened from our conflict, we were no match for the parasite which pursued you. The Forerunners made plans for a final great journey. But the Didact refused to yield our mantle of responsibility. He would save all life in the galaxy. At a cost. In the Forerunner's quest for transcendence, the Composer had been intended to bridge the organic and digital realms. It would have made us immortal. But its results soured. The stored personalities fragmented. And our attempts to return them to biological states created only abominations. Such moral concerns faded from the Didact's attention. The Flood only assimilated living tissue. The Composer would provide the Didact his solution and his revenge. The Prometheans. They're human. They were only the beginning. He would have encrypted your entire race if we had not removed the Composer from his care and imprisoned him here. Reclaimer. When I indexed mankind for repopulation, I hid seeds from the Didact. Seeds which would lead to an eventuality. Your physical evolution? Your combat skin? Even your Ancilla Cortana? You are the culmination of a thousand lifetimes of planning. Planning for what? He has found us. Even in death, her meddling continues. Reclaimer, the gene song I placed within you contains many gifts, including an immunity to the Composer. But it must be unlocked. How? Relinquish your contact essence. Your evolutionary journey must be accelerated. Can I defeat the Didact without it? No. Then do it. Prepare. So basically, Master Chief is the Chosen One and the Messiah. And for fucking years and years and years, that's apparently what the, uh, the Forerunners apparently planned us out. Because they could apparently see the fucking future. That's, that's the plot. That's that's the that's the twist of the game. God, I hate the story mode in this game. I hate it so much. I exist in constant constant pain because this game exists and I hate it. You're still muted, by the way. Oh, me? Really? Good yeah, what were you saying? You know, I can't even remember. <laughs> How do we get out of here? Elevator, okay. See? This game fucking saps you, right? I feel like I was already All sapped, your... and now it's, it's just worse. Yeah. No, but it's- yeah, it's worse. Yeah. It- It takes Chief, something from you. Your bio readings are all over the map. It's a long story, but I know what the Didact's after. I know that part. The librarian filled me in when she snatched me from the system. But what I don't know is what she did to you. Yeah, this game just, it takes a physical toll on you. It sucks. 
it hurts to play sometimes. Sierra one one seven. Okay, let's Watch keep going. Does Infinity have a shot on the gravity well? Negative. We'll never be able to get a target locked with all the air traffic we're seeing. Captain, what if we can spot the target for you with the laser designator? Do it. Take off. Find the chief coordinates for somewhere with line of sight. I'm reading Sierra one one seven on sensor. Everyone, form up. Hey, it's safe. Stacker. Remember Stacker? I remember Stacker. Yeah. It's just the worst. It's just, it's just hard. To play. What did you do? <laughs> I shot a bad guy, I think. You lost us over a hundred points. I might have been a good guy. I'm a mongoose now that I'm looking at the car that I'm closer. I don't like understand Deep, how you can't tell the difference. Is, that's my question, is how you're not able to tell the difference. Damn it. Oh, I forgot there was the tank. Hurry up and take him out. Nothing. Okay, I don't even have to hit him. Just gotta take out these. Same as the fucking last time we had to take them out. That other one. Shields weakening. Keep it up. All right, shields are down. Ravine. Let's go. We can get eyes on the gravity well up there. I don't remember if we still need our tank. Probably not. It's almost over. Yeah, we can't even get our tanks over it. Alright, come here. Let's go. Let's finish this. Uh, I agree. Let's let us. Three more missions. And we're done. We're at the gravity well. Then paint that damn target so we can get out of here. You heard it, Chief. Line up the shot. Alright, and now we have to. Predator drone, this thing. Because they couldn't rip off Call of Duty enough. Infinity cannot handle that kind of punishment. Not again. This isn't about us or this ship anymore. Sir. We've seen what the Didact is capable of. If we let him leave this world, humanity will be at risk. Look, I understand what you think you saw. Think? With all due respect, sir, I know what I saw. And with all due respect to you, soldier, I'm not willing to jeopardize my ship because of the hallucinations of an aging Spartan and his malfunctioning AI. 
Sir, what if he's right? Nav, as soon as we know we're airtight, I want a course laid into Karanay Station. Come, prepare a warning beacon. I will not allow you to leave this planet! Cortana. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Commander Lasky. Pursuant to Article 55 of UNSC Regulation 12, 14572, I'm ordering you to remove that AI's data chip and retire it for final dispensation. I don't want to. You don't want me to. Remove Please. the chip now, Commander. Please. I don't want to. Give me that chip. The didact has to be stopped. If you won't do that, I will. I am ordering you to surrender that AI! No, sir. Lieutenant! Arrest that man! Captain! Arrest him! Captain! Get word to her if the trouble is coming. Cortana and I will do what we can back here. <laughs>